Good evening, ladies and gents. Just a quick collection vlog tonight, as I've been very busy today. Um, so, let's take a look, shall we? Now, ignore the time machine poster. Um, I'll explain that after I've done this one here. Now, what is it? Well, it's not a doctor's signature. No, this is actually the autograph of um, Hollywood actor James McAvoy. And I'll explain how I came by this. Um, it was a birthday trip to London one year, I believe it was. It might have been my thirtieth birthday. I can't quite remember. Um, I was in London, um, staying in a nice hotel. Went for a walk to Leicester Square, and I noticed a lot of people all milling around. Um, one of the cinemas there, and then some barriers started going up. And I wandered around. I thought, hmm, what's, what's going on here? Turns out it was a f it was a film premiere for the movie Filth, starring James McAvoy. Um, as well as a, a quite a few others, so I, I I took up just to I took up thought why not I'll stand here for I'll stand here for an hour see what happens, and through the course of that hour, um, directors, actors started turning up from all all kinds of um, movies and TV shows, um, and the press came and stuff like that and they were taking pictures. And I was in a few of the pictures and some of the video footage, where, which I later found out went online and stuff. And uh, eventually James McAvoy turned up. And um, all I had on me, I don't know why I picked it up, but all I had on me was this piece of white card from my hotel room. Um, I, th I think I may have it on me because I, I never knew, you never know if you're walking around London you might bump into someone. I mean, I did bump into Ronnie Corbett once um, while walking around London. Uh, so I, I kept this pen and this card on me, and um, as James McAvoy came past, I asked him to sign this, and he very kindly did, and I got a photograph with him as well. A uh, very nice guy, he, he, he hung around um, and spoke to a lot of people, a lot of fans, there were some die-hard fans there. And after the premiere was over and everyone went in to the theatre to watch the movie, um, I asked one of the security guards if I could have one of the big, huge... Uh, mounting board posters of uh, filth, um, which is, I believe, is James McAvoy dressed as a police officer riding a pig, um, and I took one of those. I took it back onto the tube with me I, where when I went home and back onto the main train to come back, and I still have it. Um, it's actually tucked away at the moment. Maybe one day I'll show you it in another vlog. But I just happened. To, I happened upon this um, autograph today while I was just moving some stuff around, and I thought I'd, I'd tell you the story of how I came across it. Um, the Time Machine poster is actually from the the cinema store, which was in London. I can't quite exactly remember where it was, but it's old location. It's not there now. It's somewhere else. And The Time Machine is one of my favourite movies, and I just had to have this poster. It came in this uh, plastic uh, folder as well, which is very nicely. Keeps the poster flat and it's very stiff and everything as well, and it's to hang up. And maybe one day I will hang up when I have some more room. But yeah, there we go. Uh, the autograph of James McAvoy and the the story surrounding it. It was incidentally my very first movie premiere. I'd never been anywhere near a movie premiere before. And so in Leicester Square, it was very memorable. So there you go. That's, uh, that was my little adventure for my... Since it was my birthday um, yesterday, I thought I'd, I'd, tell you that, I'd tell you that story from a previous birthday. Um, it was very exciting, and I, who knows? I doubt I'd, it'll happen to me again. That was a very that was a once in a lifetime chance, and and I happened across it, and I took that chance. <laughs> there we go. That being said, I'm off, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.